A special situation arises when we have a dimension used multiple times within a cube for different purposes. We call this a role-playing dimension. In the case of our sample database for AdventureWorks, we've created a single dimension for date that appears in Solution Explorer. Any dimension that appears in Solution Explorer is a database dimension. We can associate it with one or more cubes that we add to the database, and we can set up different properties for each instance of the dimension within a cube but we have common properties for the dimension at the database level. We set up a role-playing dimension when our fact table in the data source view has multiple columns that have a relationship to the same dimension table, such as we see here between reseller sales and date. Here we have relationships for order date key, due date key, and ship date key. We can see different values in each column because each column has a different meaning, one for the sale date, one for the date we promised it, and a third date for when we actually shipped it. Each column relates to the same date dimension because any given date will have the same properties, the same month, the same quarter, the same year, day of year, and so on. When we add this dimension to the cube, the presence of the multiple relationships triggers the addition of multiple versions of the dimensions to the cube, which we call role-playing dimensions. We can rename them if we like, hide them, or delete them as determined by the user's analysis requirements. Renaming the dimension in the cube is one of the properties of a dimension that is set cube by cube and does not affect the dimension at the database level. Here we see our role-playing dimensions as ship date, due date, and order date. 